Good morning everybody at Harbour watching this online today. Uh, my name's Ross and it's my turn to have a go at dust um, and try and follow the amazing alley from last week. Um, Steve, I know you asked me to do this in church about 68 months ago, so here it is. Um, sorry for it being overdue. Um, for those that know me, hello. I really miss everybody. Um, for those that maybe don't really know me, you might know that I come on Sunday mornings often wearing my flip-flops. Um, it's just my style. As long as it's not raining and it's pretty dry, I'll be wearing them. Anyway, enough about my flip-flops. This is um, my story I'd like to share with you this morning. So how did I come to faith? Like many in Northern Ireland, um, I spent 18 years in the Presbyterian Church. I was involved in all aspects, youth fellowships, youth clubs, Sunday school, boys brigade, really threw myself into it. Um, I really felt I accepted Christ into my heart as I knew um, building a faith um, as a young teenager. As I went to university, um, my faith was really tested. I realized I had a very negative, limited um, belief system. Um, if you weren't saved in a Protestant faith, then I thought you were going to hell and that you were doomed to this burning fire of damnation. Um, that was really difficult for me to hold on to when I was meeting um, and falling in love with friends from different faiths, those of no faiths, different ethnic backgrounds, um, and those within the LGBTQ community. Um, I made a decision at that point then to turn my back on God, deny God, um, deny this God that I understood who was judgmental and lo unloving towards others. Um, and then there was a long period, about 15 years, I can say up until 2015, um, 2016, where I explored other religions. I tried meditation, Buddhism, yoga, um, just lived within the world. Um, although there were always felt um, a void, a, something spiritually that was missing within me. How things have changed, they changed enormously about three or four years ago. Um, a friend of mine was in need and I really couldn't help. At that point, I felt God, um, I felt God's hand on me, their voice in, within me telling me that they were there, that God was there to help, um, that they had always been there, that they had always loved me and that it was, it was me that had stopped looking. Um, that moment gave me great joy, gave me great support and really has driven, has been the, the starting point of the, the last three or four years of my life. I've been on a journey um, trying to rebuild my faith or build this new faith and this new understanding, um, which is about an inclusive practice. Um, God's love is for everyone and this violent, judgmental God, I am rewriting the paradigms in my head as I engage at Harbour, uh, I engage with some of the amazing inclusive um, writing theologians um, and ministers, artists um, that we're seeing in our society today. What makes me optimistic? Um, Harbour makes me optimistic. Finding Harbour, um, I felt really lost. I went back to the Presbyterian Church for a period of time until some of their excruciating decision making over two years or nearly two years ago, um, which left me feeling lost and I had to leave. Um, thankfully, once I was directed to Harbour, I witnessed this wonderful community and was able to participate in a community of, of real God's love, um, a variety of intergenerational love, um, so many inspiring people that I get to meet in Harbour on a, a Sunday morning, such humble, compassionate, loving um, people just from all walks of life. Um, that has led me to understanding the diverse church with um, Jade um, and also the Spectrum Church um, within Belfast. These organisations and these movements, they fill me with such hope that there is a message and a gospel about our Lord and Saviour um, that, is, that is for everyone and not exclusive. I hope I haven't rambled on too much. Um, for those that don't me, feel free on the next Sunday that we all get together to come and say hi. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the service on your Sunday. Take care.